Hello and welcome to The Faith Life. Welcome to the first official video since the relaunch. So pumped to get started on this journey and really excited to see where it takes us. As you can see, repping The Faith Life t-shirt, uh, which will be part of the giveaway. So if you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel or followed the Instagram account, what are you doing? You're missing out. Really, really, I just want to give you guys some stuff. So you gotta, you got to subscribe and follow if you want to be in with a chance to win some free stuff. Cool, so let's dive in. For those that are following the Instagram account, and there aren't very many of you, must say, you will have seen that I put up a little sneak peek at what we're going to be looking at today. Um, so today we're going to be looking at the Gospel, and I set myself the challenge of trying to sum up in, I said five minutes, but I want to try and see how um, short a summary I can do. So within five minutes or less, to sum up what the gospel is. Now before I attempt to sum up the gospel in as short a time as possible, what I just want to quickly run through is what the gospel actually means um, in terms of the word itself. Now most people you probably think the word gospel and you might know that in the New Testament the first four books of the New Testament which is Matthew, Mark, Luke and John are referred to as the Gospels. So you might be thinking, please tell me you're not going to sit there and sum up the first four books of the Bible in less than five minutes. Uh, others of you might be thinking, flip, if you can sum up the first four books of the Bible in five minutes, then just wow. Um, I wish I could sum up the first four books of the Bible in five minutes. Um, no, but then equally maybe, if this is the core message that is in the Gospels, but actually what the first four books of the Bible um, kind of tell is the story of Jesus um, and gospel means good news. So the first four books are called the Gospels because they tell the good news or gospel of Jesus. So what I'm going to try and do for you is sum up the gospel, which is the life of Jesus and what that means for us. So the gospel then, Jesus who was with God in the beginning, and we see that in the book of John. He came to earth as a baby. Think the nativity scene, white shepherds, wise men, that sort of thing. Here's the thing though, he was fully human and fully God. Now we're not gonna try and get our heads around that today. Now, Jesus came to earth to heal the sick, help the poor, perform miracles, etc., etc. But that wasn't the real reason why he came to earth. But his true purpose was to fill the spiritual emptiness that we have. He came to repair the relationship between humans and God. He came to repair the relationship with God, that all the bad stuff that we do that is not what God wants us to do, managed to kind of block up. In order to repair that relationship, Jesus had to do something extraordinary. He was tortured and put up on a cross to die an agonising death. Here's the thing though, Jesus was the only perfect human. He never did anything that was against God. He never... Um, sinned which is what the bible calls every anything that is um, not of god or that goes against god so all the bad things that we do the bible calls sin and jesus himself never sinned so on that cross what jesus did was he took all of the sin all the bad things that we have ever done that we are doing and that we will ever do on upon himself this perfect human took all the sin of all the people in order to repair and rebuild the relationship that we could have with God. Those sins died with him. But it wouldn't be good news if there wasn't an incredible ending. Jesus not only 
took upon, took on our sin on that cross and made a way for the relationship between us and God to be made whole again. He also beat death and three days later he rose from the grave. He defeated death. That's pretty incredible stuff. This solidified our access to heaven. All we need to do now is say sorry for those things that we have done wrong that are against God, those sins, recognising that we, we have done wrong against God, recognising our weakness and what Jesus did on that cross for us. He saved us. So that was my attempt at summarising the gospel for you. Now what I would like to do is set you guys a challenge. And in the comments below, I think it'd be really cool if you could come up with your own summary. And I reckon most of you can probably do it a lot quicker than me. Now, granted, I was trying to give a little bit of background for those that maybe don't know what the gospel is in any way, shape or form. So hopefully that has helped in some capacity. Uh, but now you've watched this and you've got a, a sort of better idea of what the gospel or the good news is. Why not try and come up with your own summary as well? I look forward to seeing how you guys sum up the gospel. So as ever, if you found this video helpful or you have enjoyed it, then please do give it a like. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, and if you're not following the Instagram account yet, make sure to head over to Instagram and follow the Faith Life. As ever though, thank you for watching. Until next time, bye bye.